Thomas and Gordon. Thomas was a tank engine who lived at a big station. He had six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy dome. He was a fussy little engine, always pulling coaches about. He pulled them to the station, ready for the big engines to take out on long journeys. And when trains came in and the people had got out, he would pull the empty coaches away so that the big engines could go and rest. He was cheeky too. He used to play tricks on the other engines. He liked to come quietly beside them and make them jump. One day, Gordon was resting on a siding. He was very tired. The big express had been late. He was just going to sleep when Thomas came up in his cheeky way. <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones! <laughs> <laughs> Do some hard work for a change. You can't catch me. <laughs> and he ran off laughing. Instead of going to sleep again, Gordon thought how he could pay Thomas out. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. It was nearly time for the express. The people were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. At last, Thomas started. Oh, dear. Oh, ah, sure. The coaches were very impatient. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. We'll be late. Thomas gave them a rude bump. Oh, 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 oh. And started for the station. <laughs> Come on, stop dawdling, stop dawdling. The coaches were now very cross. Where have you been? Where have you been? Thomas fussed into the station, and Gordon said, <coughs> Hurry up, you! <coughs> Hurry up yourself! Don't worry, I will. And almost before the coaches had stopped moving, Gordon came out of his siding and was coupled to the train. Come on, get in quickly, please. So the people got in quickly. The signal went down, the clock struck the hour, the guard waved his green flag, and Gordon was ready to start. Thomas usually pushed behind the big trains to help them start, but he was always uncoupled first, so that when the train was running nicely, he could stop and go back. This time, he was late and Gordon started so quickly that they forgot to uncouple Thomas. <coughs> the heavy train slowly began to move out of the station. Gordon grunted at the coaches. Come on, come on. Thomas teased Gordon. Pull harder, pull harder. <laughs> The train went faster and faster. Too fast for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. <laughs> stop! Stop! I can't keep up. You're going too fast. Gordon laughed. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. And the coaches chuckled with glee. You can't get away, you can't get away, you can't get away, you can't get away. Poor Thomas was going faster than he'd ever been before. He was out of breath and his wheels hurt him, but he had to go on and on and on. Oh dear, 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 oh dear. I shall never be the same again. I shall never be the same again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. My wheels will be quite worn out. At last they stopped. Everyone laughed to see Thomas puffing and panting behind. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. They uncoupled him and he ran onto a siding out of the way. Gordon chuckled as he passed. <laughs> well, little Thomas, now you know what hard work means, don't you? Hmm? Poor Thomas couldn't answer. He had no breath. 
he just puffed slowly away to rest. And he had a long, long drink. And he was careful afterwards never to be cheeky to Gordon again.